Hello there. Today we are celebrating the works of the master himself, Bob Ross, in his 2025 calendar. And thankfully this also includes a free poster of Bob's work. So I'm sure we can get that into the background of some of our videos. As you can see we have our palette brush and Mr. Squirrel there. So without further ado, let's have a look what's inside. Okay, before we get to the artwork, I thought it was very good how I've included in the last few months of 2024 there, with some important dates. That was a nice little touch. Just remember guys, these images, you can be anywhere you want to be, the choice is yours. Obviously he did lots of outdoor landscape work, incorporation of foliage and greenery. So this is 2025 Winter Glow. As you can see here, we have the sun radiating its colour, light and heat. The question is, is it sunrise or sunset? You decide. And he very much liked the use of mountains in the background. We have some uh, snow and ice capped conifers and ferns there a beautiful still lake with the light reflecting there from the sun a few little reeds so we can probably imagine that this area is a little bit boggy and marshy notice we have a simple fence there of course, one of the signatures, Mr. Ross himself, was the use of cabins, sheds, things like that. So we have a snow-covered shed there, with a little storage hut just adjacent there. So that's winter glow. How does that make you feel? And what's your thoughts on that one? We are on to February 25. Now this image is winter stillness. So looking at this, we have a stream. And you can imagine that this is a very tranquil environment. There's not too much external noise. Just maybe the gentle flow of that little river and maybe some little birds in the trees. We are still within winter. So we have the snow on the ground. We have trees here that have obviously lost their leaves. But we have our evergreens here. So I liked his use of different types of trees, including those of perennials. The little strands there poking up from the surface. And just look at the sky, a beautiful bluey, purpley, pinky glow there. Possibly the sun rising or the sun setting in the background there. So, what do you think of that one? Winter stillness. Okay, in March, possibly 
progressing towards the middle or latter parts of spring perhaps. This is high shutter. And what I very much thought of Bob's little head past buildings is that they are very dark, almost a little bit of mystery spookiness to them. Maybe if this was a lighter colour, it would feel more inviting. And that is the roof. It is top to bottom. A roof there. We have our uneven ground there. Lots of foliage in the forefront. And in the background you can see how everything's got a little bit of a blur. A little bit of a mist there. And we have an ominous looking sky here. And you can see these clouds really drawing in. So possibly we have a storm on the way here in High Shutter. What do you think of this one? Okay, let's move on to the month of April. Now, this is a beautiful one, one of my favourites. This is Sleep Mountains. And again, you can imagine this is a very tranquil environment where only nature can be seen and heard. We have this little shed here, right in the center. These grand trees here. And obviously the main thing with this one that stands out are these snow capped, snow covered steep mountains in the background there. We have a sort of a canal here. Have a few little ripples perhaps, a bit of movement there. Plenty of foliage here. You can see we have a little overground field there. So what do you think of steep mountains? May, we have morning walk. I think one of Bob's more simplistic pieces, but it probably doesn't take away from our interpretations of this one. Our imagination can work a little bit more with this piece because we have two people taking a morning walk, asking ourselves, are they friends? Are they lovers? Are they family? Is it mum and son? Is it mum and daughter? Who knows? So this one begs quite a few questions. Lovely tall trees here. As you can see they're years old. Based on their height and thickness. And notice how they're walking into the beautiful glow of the morning there. a little bit of grass here and here so we have an open walkway there into the light so what do you think of morning walk okay we're at the halfway point so this is where we have a poster in the center which we'll get out shortly for a video. Now this one for June is Valley View. And again, look at Bob's use of these snow covered mountains. These are very grand. You can see how the glaciers have shaped these majestic mountains. 
with a very green stream here widens and then narrows possibly Bob has incorporated some rockery on the shores there on the banks and we have with this one our use of the perennial evergreens there we have some conifers and some fir What do you think of Valley View there? Let's have a look at the month of July. Now this is where things take a little bit of an unexpected turn in terms of Bob's works and how we have currently felt. If things were more tranquil previously, then we have migrated to a more busy, windy and dramatic piece here. We have windy waves, so Bob could really show us that as well as doing those scenic, tranquil, mountainous pieces. He could bring us the action of a beach and the wind. Obviously, we have some crashing waves here. Perfect conditions for surfers. You can see what looks like some palms just blowing strongly there. Dramatic cloud scene there. And a little beach here. So what do you think of windy waves? Okay, now Bob has for August gone with the theme of the beautiful emerald green here. This is emerald waters. Looks like we have a little lake some little bays there just extending into the lake beautiful tree there look at the attention to detail with the bark there sort of peeling away so it just feels like you're being immersed in a richness of green there just look how dense the foliage is there sort of like we're on the edge of a forest so please tell me how this one makes you feel thoughts and opinions please okay we're on to SRP's birthday month of course Let's have a look what we have for September. So, I will be blessed September next year with the purple mountain range. Now Bob has been a little bit more, what's the word? I wouldn't say braver, but a bit more expansive with his use of purple there on the mountains, his contrasts with the greens and the blues in the forefront. Again, heavy use of ferns, evergreens, perennials. Little grassy bank there. And with these mountains, because there's a little bit of blur, that implies to me that there's a little bit of mystery shrouded in this particular region. But then things become a little bit clearer as we ascend there. And my birthday falls on a Thursday this year, lovely, the 18th. Right, that's Purple Mountain Range. What's your thoughts? Let's move on to October. And look at this. 
this is campfire. Not sure whether to say this has an autumnal feel or whether it's just accidentally meant to be the use of these hues based on the fact we have the glow from the campfire. A little walkway there with the fire there. This makes us feel warm and cosy. But it begs the question who has set this campfire? Is it under control? Or are things a little bit awry? You can see the blur here, where the smoke has just obscured the sight a little. And of course, the camp has been made on the edge of a lake there. So what do you think about the campfire? Moving on to the winter months again. This video was recorded on the 31st of October. So, we have tranquil dawn there. I was just looking at the dates there. We have full moon, US election day, Remembrance Sunday in the UK here. Veterans Day in the US, Remembrance Day Canada and the UK on the 11th, sorry, 9th is Remembrance Sunday, Thanksgiving there, United States, but anyway back to Tranquil Dawn, again we have a lovely sunrise here, you can feel the warmth and the heat, I'm about to blanket this snowy environment. We have a very dormant tree here. You can see the sparks from the branches give it a little bit of an uninviting look. Some mystery trees in the background there, just hidden by the morning mist and a few more ferns there. So that's Tranquil Dawn, what do you think? And finally, on to the month of December. Now, I do like this one, because Bob has actually used one of his buildings as the centrepiece. This is Lonely Retreat, here back in the winter. A little extension there to the main building. We have the lights on, so it implies somebody's home. A swirling snowy ground. No footsteps. A little bit of grass parking through. Some lovely bushy trees there. And some perennials here. And we have a, a fluffy cloud there, a little happy fluffy cloud. So this is a lonely retreat. You see Bob has gone for some blues in this one. Blues and whites. Almost giving it a evening feel, evening glow feel. So that's December 2025. What do you think of this piece? Excellent. So I hope you've enjoyed this journey through Bob Ross's works in this 2025 calendar. Here is each month in small form. If possible, I'll try and find an affiliate link in case you want to purchase this product. As soon as we hit the 1st of January 2025, I'll have this up in my house with hopefully the poster 
sitting somewhere which is this beautiful mountain range here with the streams there 